So according to the Parkinson's Foundation, there are more than 10 million people worldwide that live with Parkinson's disease. And here to tell us about this disease and how to identify the subtle, subtle symptoms is our very own nurse, Christina Paris. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah. Uh, glad to be here. Hi, good morning, guys. Yeah, you know, Parkinson's, I've kind of noticed, first of all, before I get into this, what is yeah. Parkinson's? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So Parkinson's disease, it's a neurologic disorder that causes a lot of different movements. Um, and so it, it, it can uh, be very subtle sometimes. Uh, some of the symptoms you won't even notice right away because they seem so similar to other symptoms that we see, you know, such as um, brain fog, maybe um, some confusion, depression, and uh you can have some sensitivities with smells. But the big one that we notice are tremors. So people will notice limbs, hands, things like that. We'll, we'll, they'll have a tremor to it, but it's constant and even at rest. And so some people are diagnosed with what we call essential tremors. That's not Parkinson's disease. And one of the differences between the two is that when you're at rest, your your hands will, or arms, or whatever limb is, is will tremor. It, the tremors go away at rest for essential tremors. But it Parkinson's disease, that's kind of one of the hallmarks. Yeah, I kind of noticed, I know some people that do have Parkinson's and you kind of see a little bit of a shaking or something like that in the arms or something like that, or maybe just the body. And one thing I kind of observed also uh, recently though, um, it seems like it kind of get a little bit, it can get a little bit I guess worse, for lack of a better term, when someone's nervous? Is that, is that, is that a case? Is so that I case? think, uh, yeah, any time with stress, um, you know, it increases uh, movements and things like that. It can, because one of the things that causes it is dopamine. Mm. So um, what happens is those dopamine cells actually die. And dopamine is really critical for movement. It's, um, it helps us also in like relaxation and calm and so when we when those cells die and they're not performing they're a neurotransmitter so when they're not sending those signals um, it can cause the, the tremors to occur and so yes if you're stressed and you don't have that dopamine there to kind of help relax you it's gonna it's gonna cause it other causes of um, Parkinson's can also be a genetic factor so they're looking into that um, environmental factors like pesticides Hmm. Um, if you've had a lot of exposure to that, head injuries, um, those are also factors that can contribute to, um, to the development of Parkinson's. Yeah, definitely. And so for anyone, so how does this affect your life? How, how can it be treated as well? Yeah, so it, it really does have a huge impact on people's lives. Um, uh, the um, Michael J. Fox um, Foundation is one of the big research foundations. And right now, um, they don't know the exact cause. They know that it, it affects, you know, it has to do with the death of the dopamine receptors, but they're not sure what is causing those receptors to die. Um, there's several theories that they're looking into, um, but right now there is no cure. So it's really just a matter of treating the symptoms. So medication management, and there's a lot of different medications. So you wanna try, not everyone responds the same way to the same medications. So it's very individualized. Some people, and, and not everybody has the same symptoms. You might have some of the symptoms of Parkinson's, but not the others. And so that too is very individualized. So you have to be patient. You have to work really closely with your um, providers. There's also physical therapy. There's uh, deep brain stimulation and focused ultrasound. Those are other therapy um, types that you can use in addition to medications. Um, and also um, seeing a movement disorder specialist. Mm. So if oh, your provider okay. hasn't recommended that, that's something you can inquire about, a movement disorder specialist. Um, and so they can help offer different um, strategies to help as well. So just make sure you're you know, communicating with your provider, being patient and um, learning more about it. 
Yeah, it's amazing that this, how much progress has been made on it, and obviously much more to go to the ultimate goal of trying to hopefully treat this for good. But it's right. nice to, from obviously phase one when the disease was obviously discovered to now, it's amazing just how much progress has been made. Absolutely. And you can also look to participate in clinical trials. Um, okay. If you have anything, diabetes, cancers, go to clinicaltrials.gov, and you can look up different clinical trials that you can participate. It not only helps people in the future who have these disorders, um, but it may, whatever trial there, you know, if it's a medication, it may be very beneficial to you as well. Yeah, definitely. Is there anything else important, anything else that people should know about Parkinson's that you... I just like think the biggest thing is the individualized. It's so different for everyone, yeah. and you just have to try different medications, try different you know, strategies to try to help. But, you know, if you have any concerns, any questions, if you've noticed tremors, you've noticed difficulty with walking, you have frequent falls, things like that, go talk to your provider. They'll be able to help you. Yeah, definitely. Well, that was very informative. It is very informative because, I mean, I don't know if you've met anyone with Parkinson's. I know mm -hmm. I know a few people, mm -hmm. too. And, of course, it gets interesting, like trying to dump, like, dump a bottle, like dump juice or whatever into right. a cup. That gets tough for them. It does. That. It does. And it is very frustrating. Um, some people, it will keep them awake at night, the tremors will. Really? Yeah, oh, it wow. can be painful. It's very uncomfortable. So, yeah, awesome. it, it, it slows your movements, too. You're right. It, it is very frustrating. But there are solutions to help with the symptoms. Um, but gradually those solutions will change and you'll have to just continue to alter. And that's the thing, just being ready to adjust as needed and just talk right. to your doctor. That's kind right. of the big thing, right? Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us this morning yeah, and informing welcome. us on this.